Welcome to Electra Online and now let's talk about how are we protected from the dangerous radiation that's all around us in space. Space is an extremely hazardous environment. Not only are the temperature extremes there, are very high, very low temperatures, space is filled with radiation including x-rays, gamma rays and UV radiation. And how are we protected from that? Again, our atmosphere to the rescue. We are protected from the three most dangerous rays through our atmosphere. But how does that work? Well, it turns out about 99% of our atmosphere is made up of either nitrogen or oxygen. 78% nitrogen, about 21% oxygen, makes about 99% of the atmosphere. And nitrogen exists in diatomic molecules, and so does oxygen. They form bonds with each other. Oxygen forms a double bond. Nitrogen forms a triple bond. The nitrogen bond is very, very strong. It holds very tightly together. It's very difficult to chemically to separate the bonds that hold the two nitrogens together. But a gamma ray or an X-ray or a high energy UV radiation, such as uh, one that has wavelengths that are less than 240 nanometers, they have very high energy, they can come in, and especially for the X-rays and the gamma rays, they can come in and break the nitrogen bonds apart so that the nitrogen atoms are now separated. Same with the oxygen. UV radiation cannot break the nitrogen bond. It does not have enough energy, but it can break the double oxygen bond right here. What it does by doing so, the X-ray or the gamma ray or the high energy uh, UV radiation comes in, hits one of those molecules, it's bound to hit the molecules because our atmosphere is absolutely filled with them, so there's no choice. And they usually do that fairly high up in the atmosphere already. Therefore, some of the layers, higher layers in the atmosphere are warmed up by the absorption of this energy. So those rays come in, they break the bonds, the atoms go flying off in their separate uh, directions at very high velocities because they absorbed all the energy but by breaking that bond the x-ray or the gamma ray is absorbed and no longer is able then to penetrate through it no longer exists the energy is simply absorbed same with the high energy UV radiation it will hit either a nitrogen if it's very high energy uh, UV radiation or an oxygen molecule it absorbed that energy the bonds break and that's how the radiation is stopped but what about the UV radiation that's between 240 nanometers and visible light starting at 400 nanometers. For that type of UV radiation, those molecules cannot stop them because the energy contained with them is not enough to break up the nitrogen bonds or the oxygen bonds. Well, lucky for us, there's one more layer of protection in the atmosphere. It's high up in the atmosphere, somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe 30 or so miles up from the Earth, and we have what we call an ozone layer there. And the ozone layer is oxygen, but not in a diatomic molecule, but a triatomic molecule. So an ozone molecule looks like that, it's connected like that. And those bonds, those bonds can be broken by the lower energy UV radiation that has wavelengths between 240 and 400 nanometers. So one of those energies comes along, UV uh, waste comes along, hits one of those triatomic molecules, breaks it apart, by breaking it apart, it absorbs that energy, and so therefore the vast majority of the UV radiation is stopped by those, ozone, by those ozone molecules. Since there is far less ozone in the atmosphere than, of course, nitrogen and oxygen, it's just a very thin layer, a very small region over here. Not 100% of that UV radiation is absorbed. A very small percentage of it does actually make it through all the way to the Earth, to the, to the uh, ground layers of the Earth or should say ground layers of the atmosphere down to the surface of the earth and so therefore we can still get sunburns by that very small percentage of the UV that gets through. It's only about one or two percent as far as I remember and so therefore even that very small amount can cause quite a bit of skin damage through, through uh, burning the skin and long-term exposure can actually lead to skin cancer. So luckily the atmosphere is wonderful at protecting us from those three very dangerous rays from space.